In this video, we are going to cover our support for overlay networks and specifically VMware NSX virtual networks in Forward Enterprise. After a brief explanation of what this capability provides, we're going to dive into a short demo that illustrates how you simplify the management of virtual networks and begin to correlate activity and policies between the underlay and overlay networks for the first time. This demo scenario is completely focused on the new NSX overlay feature on a very small network to make it easier to follow. For a more general demonstration on a much larger network, some of our other videos will give a better understanding of the full power of Forward Enterprise if this is your first exposure to our flagship product. Overlay networking is a critical part of cloud infrastructure to securely segment and reallocate network capacity between users and virtual applications. Most software-defined networking solutions and network automation projects focus on managing and provisioning of these overlay networks as new virtual applications and workloads are deployed. But overlay networks introduce another layer of complexity on top of managing the physical network. When you observe the two application workloads were not connected or performance was bad, it was almost impossible to correlate the issue with problems in the physical network. Frequently different management platforms and consoles are used, and likely even different IT teams. This lack of correlation made it almost impossible to troubleshoot overlay networks and hindered the adoption of overlay protocols like VXLAN. What I'm going to show in this demo is that Forward Enterprise, we can now overcome this correlation problem to simultaneously show virtual network policies and paths overlaid on the physical network infrastructure in one network console. Users can now simultaneously diagnose configuration issues in both network planes to accelerate time to resolution and eliminate much of the finger pointing between IT teams. And with that, let's dive into the demo. We start with a very simple network in this demo with only four devices. Three of the devices are NSX virtual switches. We have two ESXi virtual switches that will represent east-west traffic in our virtual data center. We have an NSX Edge VM, which is providing gateway services to external networks outside of our environment. The only physical device in our topology is a Juniper EX9204 top of rack switch between our two virtual switches, which are located on different hosts. So we can see our topology generally consists of a virtual gateway edge switch with six parallel connections to one virtual switch, maybe fronting a web server, which sends traffic through a top of rack switch to another VM, perhaps the application database. Viewers familiar with Forward Enterprise know that we can drill down on any of these devices to see configuration details and state information. We can also inspect the connections between devices. For example, we can see that six parallel connections between the edge gateway and virtual switch are to different virtual network interface cards on the ESXi switch. This current topology view is only showing connections in the underlay or through the physical network. We have configured an overlay network between our ESXi switches to support application traffic using VXLAN. By checking the VXLAN link type option, we can show this overlay network on the same topology. Overlay networks are shown as dashed lines so we can differentiate from the physical topology. If there are issues with traffic between these virtual workloads, we can immediately start our analysis of policy and configuration issues in both the overlay and physical network to quickly isolate the root cause. Troubleshooting in Forward Enterprise can start with search queries or analyzing results of predefined verification checks. In this case, let's start with a search query focused on the traffic between these two virtual switches over VXLAN that gets delivered. I will specify traffic from the first vSwitch to the remote switch and remove paths that drop traffic and show only paths that deliver packets. We can see three paths returned, one starting with a round trip to the edge gateway and then the overlay path and then the underlay path. Each of the devices in each path are shown and we can explore the services applied and configurations of each device within the flow. For example, if we select the originating V switch in the first path, we can drill down on the ACL rules 
that are applied to see which traffic is permitted, or we can see how the Layer 2 traffic is forwarded at this hop. Coming back out to the search results, we can also show the return path for this route in case it's different than the forward route. The bottom path is the virtual network, which shows just a direct VXLAN connection. But if we are analyzing the overlay VXLAN tunnel, it's easy to switch back and forth to the corresponding underlay path. Now let's look at the Verify tab to see some of the user-defined checks we have set up. The Verify tab shows the connectivity and security policies that we need to have for our network. Again, for this simple network, we only have a few checks where a real-world network may have hundreds or more. The first check ensures that there's always a valid path from the remote vSwitch to an external IP address through the gateway. The second Verify check ensures that a connection exists from our remote VXLAN switch to the primary vSwitch through the defined NIC interfaces, while the third check ensures that back traffic through those same interfaces is not allowed. Presumably back traffic will be configured on other interfaces in this scenario, but we're not checking for that here. There are a few general predefined checks added here as well, checking for no forwarding loops in our network and that port channels are all configured correctly. We can see that there is a loop in our network, so we might want to resolve that issue later. We can select one of these pass-failed links to see exactly how each policy intent is supported in the network. Here we see all the possible paths for traffic from the remote vSwitch to the destination IP address. There are eight paths in total, some of which result in dropped traffic based on the type of traffic allowed through the ACL rules. We can see both the physical network paths as well as the defined VXLAN paths, with some paths having both. And it even looks like we see that forwarding loop in our network, which we saw earlier. This may or may not be a problem if it represents back and forth traffic on separate interfaces supported by the VXLAN tunnel and the application. In this short demo, we have shown that virtual overlay networks are now handled as easily as paths through the physical network devices in Forward Enterprise. For the first time, network admins can correlate side by side the underlay and overlay paths to quickly analyze and troubleshoot issues. You no longer have to lose visibility to your underlay network when managing overlay networks and policies. To get a better understanding of the overall capabilities of Forward Enterprise, I encourage you to check out some of our other demo videos and use cases on much larger networks with more sophisticated policy checks. And for more information on Forward Networks, check out our website at forwardnetworks.com, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.